Hey there, Northsiders and friends. It's time to prepare for worship. This Sunday is Palm Sunday. It's the Sunday when we begin to move into the passion of Jesus Christ as we encounter his last days here on earth and we consider what his life, death, and resurrection means for each of us and for our world. We're asking that Thursday and Friday of this week, you come and pick up your Holy Week bag. We have special bags for our Northside children, which include sweet treats from Miss Norma, notes for, from their Sunday school teachers, and materials to make a palm cross. In our Preparing for Worship email, you'll see a video of me from last year putting together a palm cross. We hope that you will take the time to do that this Sunday in preparation for our Palm Sunday worship. Materials are also found in the adult Holy Week bags, which also have communion cups for Maundy Thursday worship, our Holy Week booklets, palm crosses, and everything that you will need for Holy Week. Please take time during the normal business hours of the church office to pick up your bag. If for some reason you're not able to pick up your Holy Week bag, we would ask that you call or email the church office and we'll put it outside with your name on it. We want to make sure that everyone is able to worship as fully as they would choose to on Palm Sunday and Holy Week. If you've not taken the time to do so yet, please register for our Easter services, whichever one you and your household would like to go to. If you would be interested in volunteering as a greeter, usher, or parking attendant, there's also opportunity for you to serve in that capacity. Since this will be our first Sunday back in person, there's gonna be a lot of moving parts, and we need all of our members to help us to make sure that worship is as safe as possible for everyone present. Palm Sunday. It's interesting, isn't it? People shouting Hosanna would later turn and shout, crucify him. It's one of our most jubilant Sundays and one of our most reflective Sundays not only called Palm Sunday, but also Passion Sunday. And as we hear those shouts from the crowd, we're asked to turn inward and consider what are ways that I have shouted Hosanna in one voice and then shouted crucify him in another. At some point this week, I would encourage you to read all of the lectionary texts for Passion Week. It brings us through the whole journey of Jesus Christ. We'll have those links in your Preparing for Worship email as well. Sometimes we only get snippets depending on which services we might attend, but it is powerful to read the Passion narrative in its entirety. Jesus gave everything for, all, for us, everything for this whole world. Remember, you are loved. Be at peace.